Hello everyone, this is Peter from Pytalista with one more video. Today I'm gonna show you how to do login in Databricks. Uh, I don't know if you certainly <laughs> had problems doing login in Databricks, I certainly did. And then I found out in uh, another video that color is not good and then I thought that I could quickly show you how to create a template and have login in uh, databricks which is very good to have login in your program because later you can debug and see the logs and sometimes when you are running like a stream or uh, not everything get printed out in your notebooks so that's good to have logging and then you can check times and messages like level of logging debugging etc all right, so let's get started. I'm gonna show like one the one of the problems that I have. So if I wanted to have like a file handler, uh, I cannot just use my mount or my DBFS here. That's uh, that for some reason Python cannot like uh, communicate with those um, uh, storage like that's native native to the bricks. So the way to do it, uh, you use your temp directory where your cluster and then your Python um, standard library has access to it. So I'm just gonna give you an example that if I uh, direct that to my mount, which is in my DBFS, it doesn't work. What do I do now is I create my logger in temp, which is a temp directory on your cluster while the cluster is running. So that's it. So I can create my file handler and the rest of the code um, I'm going to do is pretty much standard. And there are other things that uh, I'm going to run here, which is create like a stream handler because on top of diver diverting my logs to a file, I would like to see in the screen what's my log. Uh, and then also set a formatter. I usually like the format like level, timestamp, and the message. Uh, and then I then add the handler, uh, format the handler. Uh, I set the handler, uh, the stream handler formatter as well. Uh, I clean the handlers here just in case there are some other handlers in, in Databricks. Uh, and then at the end, I just add the handlers to the log. Just gonna copy the code. I'm gonna to save this code on my Pytalista GitHub, and then you can just refer to that code on the description below. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna run that, and I show that uh, a log was created. And I don't know what this problem here. Probably I was doing some uh, testing at the start. But if you list the uh, your temp directory, so you see that that logger was created, and then you just um, can cat the file using sh like a shell script. So. Uh, if you just want to see the loggers, uh, it's in temp. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's what diverted the logger. Uh, yeah, we get this extra here. There's something wrong. That uh, should be fine. Uh, and then finally, uh, once you run your program, usually the last cell of your code you would like to have uh, to move that to a permanent location and then for that i'm going to use these db utils fs and then i use the command move you can use the copy and then you keep uh, the logger on your uh, temp so you don't need to move and then for example i have a mount on my databricks folder which connects to a Azure account and then if I go here and then just refresh that so you can see that I have the logos here I'm just gonna demonstrate to you uh, if I do a little bit of like logging just to demonstrate here so um, 
demo apply to Lista. Just gonna share. I'm just gonna put an A here. Have a two more logs, and then if I copy again, and then I have yeah, all the logs diverting here to my Databricks account. Uh, my folder in my uh, Azure um, account. So that's mounted. If you don't know how to do the mount, I have a, a video that I also put on the description. If you want to learn how to mount your Azure storage accounts to Databricks. And then that's pretty much it for today. I'm just going to do a, just wanted to do a quick video today for you guys to keep live moving. And if you have any questions, please put in the description or on your comments below. If you have any questions, put in the comments below. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, click the bell and like the video. See you next time. Bye bye.